Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. There's no sign that Michaels will awaken or try and get through. I did precisely exact thing you requested that I do, Stefan said. Stefan inquired as to whether Gabby was all right. Your better half is as yet relaxing. For the time being, Clyde affirmed. Gabby has sufficiently experienced, Stefan said. Clyde let Stefan know that assuming he followed orders, Gabby would be fine. Stefan got some information about Trip. He's missing. I accept you had something to do with that, Stefan said. Assuming that I did, it was exclusively for protection purposes, Clyde said. Clyde said that Ava was frail. Does Ava has any idea what you really want from her? Stefan inquired. Indeed, in the event that she doesn't, she before long will, Clyde said. Stefan conceded that Ava thought often about Harris. She's human. She's additionally shrewd and sagacious. That is the reason she has been faithful to you down the line, Stefan said. Clyde advised Stefan to watch out for Ava and ensure she stayed faithful. As Stefan went to leave, Clyde cautioned Stefan to ensure that Harris didn't awaken. Official Godfrey was standing watchman in Harris's room at the medical clinic as Ava gazed through the window from the lobby. Ava pondered when she had found a draining Harris on the bistro shipping bay. Godfrey left Harris's space to caution Ava not to dilly-dally. I wouldn't need to stand around on the off chance that you'd quite recently give me access there, Ava said. You know the guidelines. Family just, Godfrey said. Ava thought that she was the nearest thing that Harris had to a family. Godfrey requested Ava to leave. Please, I'm having a truly hard day here, Ava said. Ava made sense of that her child, a specialist, had disappeared. It was Tripp who was the person who helped Harris Michaels that evening on the shipping bay. In this way, if not for him and for me finding him in any case, you know, he may not actually be with us at the present time, Ava said. Ava contended that it would help Harris assuming he realized she was there. Ava engaged the official to twist the standards, however he denied. Ava took out her telephone and took steps to call Rafe. I'll save you some time, Miss Vitali. The official is the person who requested me in any case. Said I shouldn't give you access to see Michaels for any reason, Godfrey said. After Godfrey returned inside Harris's room, Ava paced external the window. At the point when Nurture Michelle left Harris's room, Ava inquired as to whether there had been any improvement in his condition. The attendant noticed that Ava was not family. Harris has no family. I'm all he has. Also, that's what I know whether I was in there, I realize it could help his recuperation, Ava said. Apologies, I truly want to help, Michelle said. At the point when Rafe showed up at the medical clinic, he went to mind Harris and ease Godfrey. Rafe remained at Harris's bedside. You're not abandoning me now, Rafe said. Rafe vowed to track down the shooter. As Rafe left the room, he saw Ava. For what reason would you say you are so hellbent on holding me back from seeing Harris? Ava inquired. It's for your great and for his, Rafe said. Ava apologized for having engaged with Clyde. It's not your issue. I know you and Harris were simply attempting to cut Clyde down, Rafe said. Part of good that did us, Ava mumbled. Ava begged Rafe to give her express farewell to Harris' access case he didn't get through. Rafe murmured. With a smile, Ava energetically took steps to whine via virtual entertainment about Rafe. With a shrug, Rafe noted he wasn't via virtual entertainment. In spite of what certain individuals say, I really show at least a bit of kindness, Rafe said. Better believe it, you do, Ava concurred. Rafe told Ava she could visit Harris. Thrilled, Ava hurried to Harris's bedside, and she held his hand. I'm here. Also, I want to believe that you can hear me, Ava murmured. Ava grinned. I've been contemplating when we initially met and how you had me covered, Ava said. Ava told Harris he had saved her from herself. What's more, how could I reimburse you? I drove you away. God, I would have rather not, Ava said. 
Eva called herself the cause all her own problems. Harris, you have cherished me like nobody has at any point adored me. What's more, I love you for that. God, thus numerous different reasons. I can't lose you, Ava said. Eva kissed Harris. Harris's eyes vacillated open. Steve was at the dark fix office as he conversed with John on the telephone. John strolled through the square, and he affirmed that he had not found any observers that had seen Tripp and Wendy at the geocache occasion. Steve said every one of his leads had run out of road, including reconnaissance film from the region of the occasion. I have a rundown of the multitude of individuals who pursued the occasion, John said. John vowed to get back to the workplace after he addressed everybody on that rundown. We will track down your kid. Also, Wendy, as well. You can rely on it, John said. As Steve finished his call, Constantine walked into the dark fix office. Is this a terrible time? Constantine inquired. What is it that you need? Steve protested. Constantine speculated that Steve's foul state of mind was a result of Tripp's vanishing. How do you have any idea that? Steve inquired. Constantine made sense of that he had heard the staff at the medical clinic. What is it that you need? Steve rehashed. I simply needed to give you my interpretation of it, Constantine said. Constantine called it karmic equity on the off chance that something had happened to Steve's child. My girl was killed by the pawn. What's more, you, indeed, you just remained there watching. Which makes you similarly answerable for her demise, Constantine said. I have no clue about what that is no joke, Steve said. Constantine contended that Steve had been the pawn's controller, and Victor had sent them to Arya to send Constantine a message. Just, the pawn made that message one stride excessively far and killed my Katerina without blinking, Constantine snarled. You missed the point, Steve said. Steve contended that he didn't realize that Constantine had a girl. Also, regardless of whether I and regardless of whether what you're talking about was unfinished garbage, what evidence do you have? Did you really see this pawn murder your girl? Steve inquired. Constantine conceded that he had been oblivious during the assault. However, when I awakened, I saw my Katerina lying on the floor there dead, Constantine said. Steve asked Constantine for what good reason he was certain to the point that the pawn had been the executioner. Constantine made sense of that the main others in the room with him during the assault had been Steve and John Dark. What's more, however I didn't see, John's, face, I will always remember those eyes, Constantine said. Constantine added that he could find in Steve's eye that he realized that each word Constantine had said was valid. Whatever happened to your girl such a long time didn't prior have anything to do with me or John, Steve pushed. Constantine conflicted. The pawn killed my little girl without blinking. Furthermore, you were an accomplice to the wrongdoing, Constantine shouted. Steve let Constantine know that he was confounded. Constantine said that he had sworn on his little girl's spirit to retaliate for her, and he wouldn't rest until he had followed through with his responsibility. John strolled into the workplace. What in the world is happening in here? John inquired. Constantine was going to leave, Steve said. With a grin, Constantine inquired as to whether John was interested about Constantine's discussion with Steve. John speculated that Constantine was there to insult him about how he had played with John's head in the recreation area. Am I close? John inquired. Constantine said he had been conversing with Steve about his little girl, Katerina. I surely know nothing about your little girl, John said. Constantine let John know that John would recollect everything in the end.